Today we're doing a back titration and we're doing a back titration of a solid. So we're using sodium carbonate. Now this is sodium carbonate and it's hydrated. So there are um, a number of water molecules attached to every, um, I would say molecule, but ionic formula is the best way to say it, of the sodium carbonate. So we're going to try and determine the amount of water that's attached to this. Right, so the way we're going to start off by doing it, we're going to weigh out approximately a gram, approximately one gram of this, but we're going to weigh it by difference. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to take our weighing boat, we're going to put it onto the, um, the balance, and we're going to get a mass here of 0 0.27 grams. So the mass of the boat, 0 0.27 grams. Now I'm going to add in approximately one gram. It's not going to be that much. It's a couple of spatulas by the looks of it. There we go. Now mine has come out. It doesn't matter if it's over. I've got 1.35 grams. So then I'm going to pour that into a beaker. And put it back on. And it's come out again, come out this time, yeah, 0 0.27, so I'm fine, yeah. So now I can do my subtraction, and I've got, obviously, what's that, 1.08 grams, no, yeah, 1.08 grams of salt. Now, we're doing a back titration. So what that means is, first of all, we're going to um, dissolve this, we're actually going to react it, with sulfuric acid. Now, I need to add a known amount of sulfuric acid into here. If I add um, not enough, all of this will not react. So I've done a rough calculation first of all, and I'm gonna be adding 100 cubic centimeters of the acid into the beaker. But I need to add it accurately. Now, the biggest pipette we've got is 25. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a burette and we're going to add two burette fulls. We are not going to use a measuring cylinder. The reason we're not going to use a measuring cylinder is because a measuring cylinder is not accurate enough. So we're using a burette. Now, I've got my sulfuric acid here and this is 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cube. And I'm going to start off and I'm going to rinse my burette. I've already checked to ensure that my burette is tightened and closed at the bottom here. So instead of moving this down, I'm just going to hold it. I'm just going to pour a little bit in and rinse it. Just sufficient just to rinse down the sides. Take that off. Then I'm just going to empty that out. So I've rinsed out my burette. The reason I rinse out my burette is if, just in case previously it had this sodium hydroxide in it, I've just neutralized all the sodium hydroxide. Now I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to fill it right to the top and bear in mind I'm going to do this twice because I'm going to fill it up once for 50. That's going to uh, uh, that's going to be my first 50 that I add. Remember I've got a, um, an air pocket in here which I'm going to open up. I'm going to empty that through. Then I'm going to fill that to zero. bottom of the meniscus on the line. I'm going to put it into here. Now I'm going to add that 50 cubic centimetres into the sodium carbonate. Now the sodium carbonate is in the beaker and it's obviously it's going to fizz because we're going to get the reaction. It's going to, it should fizz as we add it. Yep. There we go. But we're going to add the full 50. I'm going to add it carefully at the bottom so I add exactly 50. I don't want to go over. So I add it slowly at the bottom. There we go. Now I've added exactly 50. There is still a drop at the bottom here. I'll just tap that off, give it a swirl, 
making sure it's all dissolved. And then I'm going to add a second 50 cubic centimetres. I'll do this while it's in here. I'll put it down on the floor because obviously I don't want to do it overhead height. Remembering, as usual, to remove your funnel from the top, that you don't get any drops. I'm a little bit over there. Take the excess into here. There we go, that's the bottom of the meniscus. Tap the bottom drop off, and then add the remaining 50 cubic centimetres into here. So once this is done, I've added 100 cubic centimetres of sulfuric acid and I know the molarity of the sulfuric acid. So I know that I've added 100 cubic centimetres of 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed of sulfuric acid. So I'm going to drop that down. Take the last drop off. Give that a swirl. So that now is a sulfuric acid. It was one mole per decimeter cubed, but we now have added some sodium carbonate to it. What that then means is that some of that 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed has been used up. What we're going to do is we're going to find out how much of that has been used up. The way we're going to do that is we're going to take a 25 cubic centimeter aliquot of this, and we're going to titrate it with sodium hydroxide. Now, we're going to be, be using the same burette because we haven't got enough burettes. We're just going to give this a quick rinse out with water first. Once we've rinsed that out with water, we're going to rinse it out with the sodium hydroxide, just the same way as we did before, and then we're going to do the titration. So just a quick rinse with this. Then we're going to top it up with uh, the sodium hydroxide. Just a quick rinse through with the sodium hydroxide to neutralise any acid that may still be in there. And then I'm going to top it up and I'm going to do the titration. Again, following good practice, we're going to make sure that we top it up below eye level. This. I can do mine over the sink. When you come to do yours, you'll be on the bench, so you'll have to do it all over a beaker. Oops, too much. There we go. Tap that up. And again, I'm going to make sure I remove the air bubble at the bottom, which I have. And now I can go down to the bottom of the meniscus on the zero. You'll be doing this when it's in the clamp stand because you'll be doing it over beaker rather than the sink. Then I can clamp this in. Should be okay. Now, I now need to take an accurate amount of this. I'm going to be using my pipette. And you remember how to use your pipette filler. One, two, three. One is the top one, we squeeze it, and that's now ready to fill up. We put the pipette filler onto the pipette, and we take up, pressing the second button, 25 cubic centimetres, and we take it past the line. Past the line. Press the third button, and we can take out... Oops. So the meniscus is on the bottom of the line. Knock off any excess at the bottom and then put it into our conical flask. The easy way to do that is to take the pipette filler off. 
So now I've got a 25 cubic centimetre aliquot in here. We talked about this. You've got a couple of different choices. There is, an, there is a drop on the end of here. You're not trying to get out that little bit that's at the bottom. You're just trying to get off the drop. You are either, you can do two taps. You can just touch the surface, whatever you do, as long as it's consistent every time you do it. Okay, so I'll do two taps. One, two. Okay, put that to one side. Do that as well. Indicator, the indicator we're using is phenolphthalein. So it should be uh, clear in the acid. I've used four drops. I should use four drops every time. Might be a drop on the side there. And now I do my titration. Now I haven't got a clue what value it should be. So I'm doing my rough titration. So I'm doing it quite slowly. You can have maybe a cubic centimetre at a time to start off with to get you to a rough answer. Pink yeah, we're going the other way. We're starting off uh, clear and then we're, pink will be the end point. Remember, we've got our white tile here, as usual, and the white tile is there so that we can see the colour change nicely. It seems to be staying. It takes a little bit of shaking already to get rid of the pink. Oh, not quite there. So I'm currently at seven cubic centimetres. I'm going to go dropwise now. First permanent pink coloration. There we go. Maybe one more drop. There we go. I think that's probably it. And I am on 7.3 cubic centimeters. So my first tighter, and that's my rough one, 7.3 cubic centimeters. Now I've got a value. I can do it again, yes, and I can get uh, keep on titrating until I get concordant results. Now bear in mind, you've only got, you only started off with 100 cubic centimetres of this. The maximum number of titrations you're going to get is four. Okay? Has anybody got any questions about that? Okay? So we're doing a back titration. All right? Any questions about that? No? Right. Thank you.